What's up everybody? Um, I wanted to just do a quick video answering some of the questions I saw on uh, the Facebook page specifically about um, you know if you're gonna use your your smartphone to uh, to do the photography for this for the clothing um, you know some of the questions and things that you guys have run into um, so hopefully the video won't be too long hopefully I answer the questions if I don't answer anybody's questions um, just you know, leave a comment, and I'll either answer them in the in the um, you know answer your comment in the comments, or uh, maybe I'll make another video going a little bit more in detail, something like that. So, basically, if you're going to use your smartphone for the photography for the clothing, um, I'd say one of the if you don't already do this, then one of the biggest one of the most important things that I would say you have to do if I was going to do the photography for the clothing, I would not handhold the phone. So if you don't already have your phone on a tripod, get a tripod mount for your for your smartphone. You can this is a this is a version of one. This is this one right here. It's it's spring loaded so it doesn't make a difference which phone. It doesn't make a difference how big the phone is or small. Um, but it's a it's a cheap tripod or a smartphone tripod mount that you can get on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And it essentially just mounts to any tripod or standard tripod you can get a cheap tripod on amazon for 20 bucks target you can get a tripod for you know 20 bucks or less so if you're going to spend anything get the phone on a tripod because that's going to help out a lot it's going to help out with consistency with the shots because you won't have to touch the phone or move the phone at all while you're changing the clothes why even if you just hang them and you don't use a form. You're not going to have to take the picture, put the phone down, and then go, you know, put a new, put a new uh, garment, hang something else, and then grab the phone again. You can just leave the phone in the same spot. So at least every picture, the phone is staying still. Um, so as you can see, it's it's a, an expensive way to at least not have to handhold. Um, the reason why that's important. Let's see. Now this is what I have here. Is it's what's called a ball, a ball head. It's a, it's also a cheap Amazon. You know the quality when you go to Amazon and you get the kind of non-brand name cheap stuff. And you know, I've got a decent amount of it. Starting in photography, learning lots of different techniques. I I would spend money on the inexpensive, not you know non-brand name stuff on Amazon. It's great to learn. You just kind of have to know that. You know, you do almost get what you paid for sometimes. So depending on how you use it, they, it may not last. But this is a ball head. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to this guy in the uh, the comments. Um, this is separate if you wanted to get this. Um, but I just happen to have this, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you here with that. But basically, the tripod mount. You know, it's spring loaded. I can just take my phone, and now. I've got it on the tripod and now I'm not, I'm hands free. Um, this is important because one of the biggest causes for blurry photos or unsharp photos is going to be camera shake. Camera shake is, essentially happens with a smartphone, a regular camera, it doesn't make a difference when the, when the light in the room is essentially too dark and the, the camera shutter has to be slower than it, than it should be or can be for you to handhold it. If you try to hold it still, you're, it's, you're still going to get kind of some shake in it. The picture's going to appear blurry or um, just all around not sharp because you may try to hold it still, but if the shutter is slow enough, it's not going to be still. You can't hold it still enough. So getting the camera on a tripod is going to be one of the most important things you do besides the lighting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to airplay my phone to its Apple TV, so that now Okay, so as you can see, I've got the camera on the tripod. So that's number one thing that you have to know. The other thing that you have to know when it comes to using the stock camera apps, whether it's on a Droid or an iPhone. Now, I mean, I specifically am talking about an iPhone, but I'm sure this is the same on a Droid because um, I don't see them working too much too diff too much different. They probably look a little different, but what I'm going to talk about right now is probably going to be the same thing. So 
So specifically, well, one, a tip to use while you're, while you have the camera on the tripod is it's, you know, you've taken care of the first step to get clearer pictures, better photographs by mounting the camera um, on the tripod. It's not, you're not hand holding anymore. You don't have to worry about getting camera shake that way. Another thing that you have to, or you know, you can try to look for if you have a droid phone is um, the self timer. You can see right here, I, put, I set it to a three second self timer. So now that it's a three second self timer, when I take a photo, my hands are off of it, it counts down, it takes the photo, and now um, I know that there's no camera shake involved in that one photograph because I wasn't touching the, uh, the, the camera, you know, even just by tapping, even just by tapping the uh, screen, if you can see the camera shakes a little bit when you do that. So it still introduces a little camera shake. Right now, if I use the self timer, it's gonna be as clear as it could possibly be because I'm not holding it. Um, getting the camera. Now we don't, I, I, we don't use a smartphone when photographing the clothes. Uh, that's at least one thing that I can, you know, say right now by just doing this demonstration. It's, I'm, you know, I'm getting agitated just trying to set the camera and move it and having the phone move out of the tripod mount. So like, you know, if you really want to use the smartphone when you're taking the photographs, you use a tripod, but if you moved over to a dedicated camera, I think it'd be a little bit easier. But right now, so what I want you to know when it comes to taking the pictures with your smartphone is, I saw a few of the comments talk about where the, the camera would either be, the, maybe the colors weren't right, and somebody said that they just touched the screen and, and that seems to fix it. And I wanted to just explain exactly what that does when you touch the screen. So you'll be able to see a good example here. So when you touch the screen on, a, on your smartphone to, to, um, to essentially focus it, it's doing a little bit more than just focusing it. So that is one thing. When I touch the screen, you can see the box, the square box on here pop up and it essentially focused on that spot. Not only did it focus on that spot, but it's also choosing the exposure for the picture. So it's essentially choosing the exposure means that it's got to, you know, how bright or dark the photograph is. It's trying to have an even, you know, level of brightness and darkness. It's trying to stay right there in the middle. So, but one important thing to note is when you touch the spot on the, uh, phone, it not only focuses it, but it chooses the exposure, but it chooses it for that particular spot and what you're touching. So what I mean by that is if I'm touching, say over here on this shirt, over here on this, on this item, it's brighter here because one, the, the light is right, right over to the side and two, it's the lights hitting this side. So it's going to be brighter. So if I touch that side of the, the screen the, you can see the kind of the background is a little bit darker. Okay. If I touch, say, an area in the background, you can see that it gets brighter. You can see that even the, this spot right here, this spot is completely blown out. There's, there's no detail even right over here. And that's because when I touch this spot of the screen, the camera said, okay, I see that the colors are here a little bit darker. I guess I, it's, it's thinking that the whole thing is darker. So it's bright, trying to brighten up the whole picture to expose for that spot. Same for right here. If I, when I touch this spot right here, it's saying, okay, I see bright colors here. So I think the picture should be darker because it's exposing for brightness. So it darkens the whole picture. So that's important to know because if you use your smartphone and you're just touching on a spot of the screen um, or even allowing it to do it itself and you're aiming it at a bright, um, you know, garment with the bright colors, it's really just going to think that the whole scene is bright and it's going to darken the picture. And when it darkens the picture, a lot of the times the photograph, the colors in it, in the, uh, um, the picture, the colors on the clothes will become a little bit oversaturated because when colors, when it darkens it, the colors look more saturated. The opposite, if you touch, say, right, I say I touch this part of the picture, even if it's part of the form, but it's a black, it's gonna brighten everything up. So now there's no detail right over here, which is a problem, which is not good as far as the, uh, the photograph of the clothes because it's just completely blown out. And two, it's the, the colors are brighter than they need to be. So now this, this kind of um, peach color is gonna look brighter than it should and the colors aren't gonna look bright. 
So regardless of which, you know, iPhone or Droid, if you're touching, if you're using it and you're just touching on the part of the screen, thinking it's just focusing there, it's doing more than just focusing. It's actually determining the exposure, determining how bright or dark the picture is based on what you're touching. And that's, um, that's a benefit from other using third-party apps that give you more control over the settings because you could take this picture um, and touch the, the garment and, the, and it'll brighten or darken it to where, where it thinks it should be and then take the, it off the form and go grab another garment and put it on and then say that's just like a solid navy and then you touch the same spot but since it's a different color it's going to think the picture should be you know, basically these different settings as far as exposure and it's gonna brighten it and darken it and probably look different than the last picture. And then you take that off and you put another one on, it's a, you know, a white, white Randy. Then you, it's gonna do the same thing. You're gonna touch the, the center, it's gonna see white, it's gonna think it's a really bright picture and, um, and uh, it's gonna darken the whole picture and that white's probably gonna look gray. So as far as, um, if you're gonna use a smartphone, these are things that you have to know because it's important. That's why, like I said, there's third-party apps in the App Store, and I'm sure on the Droid apps or whatever they call that store, where there's, even if there's a small cost for the, the, the app, if it can get you more manual settings, that's gonna be just more beneficial because you're gonna have more consistency with the photos. And, they're just gonna come out better. So uh, just to, I'm gonna end, I'll end the video now because, um, and I wanna, I wanna do another video talking about more ranges of cameras, point and shoots and things like that that you have options if you do wanna spend a little bit of money on the photography. Um, I'll also do a video as far as for the lighting, but as far as the smartphone, recap, get it on a tripod. Google or Amazon, you know, smartphone, um, tripod mounts and get the phone out of your hands and onto a tripod, that's number one. Number two, if you you know, just wanna stick with the app that you're using, just know that when you touch it, not only is it gonna focus there, but it's also going to expose for that. So if you touch a dark color, it's gonna brighten the picture, and if you touch a light color, it's gonna darken the picture. Um, and if you have any questions or you wanna know a little bit more in depth about something that I spoke about or maybe I missed something that you thought that you would have liked me to have covered in this video, just leave it in the comments and um, I'll respond to the comments or make another video. And hopefully this was helpful.